I'm on my way down to Via Franca del Bierzo. Today I have been thinking about what is the Camino di Santiago? And there is only one answer. The Camino di Santiago are people. Without people, there is no Camino di Santiago. Camino di Santiago is the pilgrims on the way. People who run albergues hostels, serve food, work in churches or monasteries, sing on the road, hand out stamps or water, or people who help pilgrims in one way or another. Last summer, I was lucky enough to interview some of them. First out is Paul Galan. But this is me. I'm a smoker. Yeah, and you are from England? I'm from England. Where? Um, Bristol, in okay. the southwest of England, a big city. Um, but in 2012, I walked for the first time from France to Santiago and Fisterra on the Atlantic Ocean. Um, my boys in England are grown up. I was divorced. My ex wife is in England. And so I had a new girlfriend from Paris. She lived, I lived in a community of people in Dorset in England. And we finished. We're still very good friends. We were together three years afterwards. And she said, Paul, what are you going to do now? She said, oh, go walk the Camino. Now, I'd heard of the Camino, um, but I didn't know much about it. To me, the word pilgrim in English sounds very hard. Pilgrim. It's not. But I knew a little bit, but nothing. So three days later, I got the bus to Paris, the bus to the French-Spanish border, and began walking. Fantastic. Um, I arrived in Santiago, stayed three days. Um, I walked with very little money because in England I was a volunteer for 20 years. So, of course, I don't have a lot of money. Um, but it was fantastic. I loved it. I went home. Three months later, also, I thought, I must come back to Spain. So I did the olive harvest in Cadiz province in the south for three months, looking after some dogs and I collected three and a half tons of olives and I was given food and a bed. That was fun. And then the next, about two months later, I thought, I want to go to Spain again. Because I lived in a community, I did not have a house to sell. I could just say, next week, thank you, it's been good, I'm going to Spain. So I walked again, Santiago from France, to Santiago, then to Fisterra, Finisterre, the end of the world, one of two ends of the world. How do you end up on this albergue? Okay. When I was in Fisterra, the, I worked in a private albergue run by a mother and a daughter from Galicia, and they knew I had a lot of time. I wanted to live in Spain. They said to me, come and help us, and I stayed with them for 14 months. And, but Fisterra is beautiful, but I came very Mundo. It's very beautiful. But you've got to go somewhere else. So I was making contact with people to find albergues that needed help. And when you have, when you have been to one place, you hear about other opportunities, and then another and another. So here, I've worked several times. This is very busy. It's unique because we try to be like the albergues were 20, 25 years ago before the commercial albergues became. Before that, people had to knock on doors. But now, with 350,000 people a year, you can't knock on doors and ask for a bed. In normal pre-COVID years, 350,000 people, you need the businesses, but we try to keep the traditional values of the Camino. Basic, simple, a roof, a bed, and some water. But we have two modern things here, hot water and Wi-Fi. We live in the 21st century. But we try to be really friendly, basic, but give pilgrims a good experience. And we try to pass on the values 
of previous years, um, from the old days, the old school people. Um, excuse me, I just have a cigarette while we're waiting. So that's how I came to be here. Um, I spend a month here, I go somewhere else, then I will walk a little bit, maybe one week, and then I have a base near Sagun in the province of Leon, and I go there to rest, no pilgrims for one week, and then I go to another place and another place. Um, finally, in we're now on September the 11th, and at the end of the month, I go to help at a brand new albergue in Can Frank. There are two different routes into Spain, from Sompor, from saint jean pierre de port They meet in Puente la Reina. There are many routes through France to the Spanish border. Um, but I go there, brand new albergue from our association, not part of here. This is independent. Um, but I go there and I'm looking forward in October to go there, and in November I will go to an albergue in Nachara, in La Rioja, between the Spanish-French border and, and Burgos. Now, before, it used to be run by the town council and a group of volunteers from Hospitalero, Hospitaleros Voluntarios. But our organisation is now taking over I've been there before as a pilgrim. Now I will go there as a hospitalero. And we are changed. Before, it had 100 beds close together. And we think, no, too many, not just because of COVID, but forever. We will cut the number down to 50, a new kitchen for the pilgrims. And we will open all year. We're putting new heating. And the money for that, for the building, comes from the Ayuntamiento, the town council, but the money for the new kitchen and some heating comes from <coughs> friends organization in the United States, Canada, Australia, Spain, and the association Fraternidad Internacional Camino de Santiago, the International Brotherhood Fraternity Camino de Santiago, sends money for What's the name on your organization? FIX, F-I-C-S, Fraternidad Internacional Camino de Santiago. International Fraternity of the Camino de Santiago. Fraternity means brothers or sisters, brotherhood, sisterhood. How long will you stay in Spain before you go to back to England, you think? Until I die. Okay, so you are... I will die here. Okay. One day, Clara, obviously. As I get older... I have less strength. Um, I'm 65, which is young here, but all hospitaleros and many pilgrims are 13, 14 years old here. You have to be. I hope to stay when I'm no longer able to do heavy work. I'll sit at the door. Hi, come in, we have beds. And someone else obviously will carry the gas canisters, do the heavy work and the building. But I hope to, I'll stay here until I die. Not, not today. Not before payday. We're all volunteers. We don't get paid. We have a bed. We have food. We have fun. And if we have a good boss, he will buy us a little bit of tobacco. And our association pays for my bus ticket to the next albergue. Um, and it's possible for me, finally, you won't believe this, from Norway, from Western Europe, it's possible for me to live on 150 euros a month. What a life. I love it. What a life. What a life. Thank you for sharing your story. Pleasure. And if you don't, haven't been to Camino de Santiago, have a little look. Don't plan too much. Just think, if it calls you, come. It's fantastic. It's magic.